Hey everybody, Tim Evanicki here with The College Audition, back again with another episode of The College Audition Podcast, here today with my special guest, Christopher Lloyd Bratton, full-time faculty member of the Musical Theatre Department at Hushin College. Thanks so much for joining us, Chris. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm excited. So, uh, we'd like to get to know about you first. Um, tell us a little bit about your history and career that has led you up to your time at Hushin College. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, my main trade has always been I'm a pianist and a music director. I started piano when I was 12 and uh, quickly fell in love with music and musical theater in high school. And that led me into college where I studied musical education for a little bit and then uh, left to move to California (laughs) and chase my dreams. Um, But what those dreams were, I wasn't quite sure. I knew I just wanted to do something in the arts, something in music. Uh, I ended up going back to school uh, at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood, and that's where I got my uh, my bachelor's degree. And right after uh, finishing at MI, at the Musicians Institute, I started working with a cabaret company in Los Angeles called Upright Cabaret, and I was their music director for a few years. Then I broke off and started a, um, a co-founded another production company. We did a show called For the Record, where we took uh, s- uh, soundtracks from films by a particular director and turn them into uh, like a live theatrical experience. So I was the music director and arranger and pianist and co-founder of that company. And then, you know, I started transitioning into teaching. I kind of fell into it backward. <laughs> you know, I was like first an accompanist in, in uh, the classroom, um, but uh, eventually rediscovered my love for teaching. And now that's what I do full time. I do still perform and music direct, but uh, it's uh, more intermittent. My, my main gig now is teaching college and I work for Hushin College. Great. So um, at Hushin College, uh, right now you're, you're sort of at the helm of the program. Um, mm-hmm. And before we started recording, you mentioned that that is an interim position. But yes. other than sort of steering the boat right now, um, what classes are you responsible for teaching at Hushin? Oh, gosh. Uh, just about all of them. <laughs> well, <Wow. Yeah. laughs> that, that's not, uh, not too much of an exaggeration. I, you know, I've, I've been at Hushin now for, I think, what is it, six years? And I, I, I'm kind of deeply embedded in the musical theater department. I, I've designed a lot of the curriculum that is musical theater centric and, and music centric. Uh, and I teach a lot of those classes, but I kind of get placed wherever I need to be, you know, wherever the adjuncts aren't, you know. So I, I teach music theory, I teach voice, I teach uh, musical theater performance, I teach uh, actually a, a series of collaboration courses and also a story lab. Um, I'm trying to think what else, a vocal techniques class, I think I mentioned voice. Yeah, so it, it kind of runs the gamut. Yeah, you really do teach just about everything there. It sounds like <laughs> at least we picked the right person to interview for this. <laughs> yes, I know the department well, yeah. So uh, within the uh, musical theater department there, what is the degree or are the degrees that you offer? We offer a four-year bachelor's degree, and the title of the degree and the program is Contemporary Musical Theater and Film, and that tells you a lot about what sets our program apart from maybe other programs. So is that a BFA, a BA? Uh, BFA. It is a BFA in contemporary musical theater and film. That is quite unique. Um, I don't know that there is any other BFA musical theater and film um, degree mm-hmm. out there. So so um, we're going to break that down a little bit later, <laughs> uh, exactly what that means, because that sounds like a lot to cram into one degree. Um, but um, this is the point where I usually put, as we transition into talking more about the program, I put my guest on uh, the spot a little bit and ask for sure. your elevator pitch. Um, Somewhere around 60 seconds. Um, why should students and parents listening to this consider Hushin College? Well, I think it actually does come down to the name of that program, Contemporary Musical Theater and Film. You know, I lean into the contemporary because what we mean by that is the musical theater industry as it stands today. And I'm sure anyone who has their finger on the pulse of musical theater in you know 2022 in the past 10 years has noticed a paradigm shift in terms of what it means to be a musical theater performer. Uh, you're no longer just a triple threat. Now you're, I say, a quintuple threat. <laughs> oh. So you are singing, acting, dancing, and you are also uh, an entrepreneur. 
and you were also uh, a, f a film savvy person, right? Meaning TV film, right? Yeah. Look at all of the movie musicals that have come out and that are going to come out. It's, it's now like the hot thing in Hollywood to create movie musicals. Think of all of the musical theater performers who have crossed into television and uh, being a recording artist, artist. So that's what we're trying to prepare our students for is the contemporary musical theater artist. Yeah. Isn't it funny that uh, it, when we were kids, like the, a movie musical seemed like such a thing of in the past that never happened. And then, I mean, yeah. I remember I was in college when Chicago came out and mm -hmm. I, I remember I saw it in one of the big movie theaters in New York. I don't remember which one. I think maybe Lincoln Square. And it was the big two level. There was a balcony in the movie theater and we all leapt to our feet and applauded at the end of the movie. Like yeah. that was such a brand new thing. And now movie musicals are like, yeah, they're doing another musical. I think that's yeah, funny that everything sort of comes around. Thing, yeah. 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 It's so interesting. And now, so, and now, like big Hollywood people are, are you know, like uh, you know, straight actors are getting in on the game, right? <laughs> like, for, oh. for better, or for worse, sometimes. But yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, tell me then, if I am a freshman going into um, the BFA Contemporary Musical Theater and Film, um, what does that first year look like as far as my class schedule? Sure. Yeah. There's a, you know, maybe a little bit of flexibility, uh, but not much as a freshman. We, we try to um, stick to the plan to get you uh, off and running uh, off on the right foot. So you will definitely be in a musical theater performance class where you learn uh, some, found, some foundational skills that set you up for our later performance classes. You'll be in acting classes. You will be in a voice class. Uh, both a group vocal techniques class and then a private lesson. You get a private lesson every semester. You will also be in a dance class and a freshman experience class. And uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I think that about covers it. Great. So can we talk a little bit? Uh, let's pick dance. Uh, that's always mm -hmm. a question that I have from my um, my seniors going through this. Tell us about your dance program a little bit more. Are there opportunities to level up? What styles of dance are they taking each year? Just elaborate on that a bit more. Yeah. So we have a quite a varied dance department and we collaborate with our dance department. So we do have our, our MTH and musical theater, our MTH courses that, that are dance uh, specific, but we do placements. So if someone is completely green, uh, not skilled in dance whatsoever, uh, that's okay. We, we've got those kind of entry level courses, but if you place higher, you can place into higher level dance classes or even into the CDN, the, the dance department classes, which are a little bit more challenging, uh, uh, technically more demanding. And we offer ballet, definitely, for uh, I think the first four semesters, four or five, are required because that's kind of the foundational technique. We offer tap, hip hop, jazz, funk, um, ballroom, musical theater, dance, uh, contemporary. Um, I'm trying to think if there are some others. I think those are the main ones that we require. And then we also have some other ones that you can take as electives, like you know, world cultural dance, for example. And mm -hmm. that's you know, a, an evolving department as well. Sometimes we get some new courses in as electives based on what instructors we happen to have that year. So tell us how the and film part comes about um, in that degree. Yeah, well, in one very obvious way, uh, you'll notice if you come to our campus, uh, because we're, we're not a traditional college campus, we are located inside of a film lot in Los Angeles. So in the center of downtown LA, there's a film lot called Los Angeles Center Studios, LACS. Right now, they are filming The Rookie and the new Fatal Attraction. Uh, this is where they filmed Mad Men, the whole series. So a lot of stuff happens here. And sometimes you run into uh, interesting figures in the hallway as, as they're uh, crossing to set. You know, I'm looking out the window here and I see giant sound stages. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an odd, you know, it's not, it's not your conventional co college quad, right? 
Um, right. So that's one way that and film comes in. Uh, in terms of the actual program, we do a lot of camera work. We do a lot of kind of TV and film forward classes where we are prepping you to work on stage but also on film. So you can do both of those avenues. But and as an actor and as a musical theater performer, so straight acting and musical theater. How did you may not? I'm putting you on the spot here too because we didn't talk about this in advance. But how did the musical theater program sort of come to be at Hushin? Because it didn't didn't Hushin start out as a film and television program? Kind of, yeah. And this, you know, this is a little bit before me because I came in. I think it was the second year of of the school being open. And it did start as a, a very small, focused group uh, of students. I think there were 21 in that first cohort. And it was kind of like it had a very startup kind of energy to it and, and focus to it. Uh, it still had the same four majors, but yes, it was very, you know, film centric and, and, and uh, Hollywood centric in terms of its approach. Mm -hmm. uh, it started out as Relativity School. That was the original name. And then through some kind of changing of the guards, it, it went through a studio school title for a minute. And then eventually we adopted the name of our, our accreditors all along. They, they were the ones who um, we got our accreditation from, Hushin College. And right now, we're part of a, a larger group of colleges across the nation. And there's kind of a rebranding going on throughout the whole corporation. So that way, it's all got the same name and marketing. So we're all Hushin College now. So a bit of a, a changing of um, title there. But mm -hmm. you know, we've always had that kind of you know, scrappy, uh, you know, off the beaten path type of approach to your your standard performing arts majors you know we're, we're not a, a pipeline to Broadway I would say we're our Dean likes to say we're a maker space you know <laughs> you come here right. to to make things get your hands dirty to to be the autonomous kind of creator with a capital C mm-hmm so tell us about um, performance opportunities, uh, being that it's very much a hybrid um, film mm -hmm. and musical theater program. Um, there is what opportunities do students have to get on stage to fulfill that musical theater side of things? Sure. Yeah, it, it's interesting because over the past couple of years, there's been a bit of a shift due largely to student suggestions and, and demand um, because we are so producerial in our approach, right? We are, we are creating all of our students um, to be producers in their own right. Uh, that is borne out in our season of shows. So we have a, an end of year festival. Th there are other events that, that happen throughout the year, smaller events, but the big kahuna is the la end of year festival in which we've got a music, uh, you know, big musical production or two, uh, a couple plays, some films, um, some dance pieces, and all of these are born out of our collaboration course sequence in which the students pitch ideas of shows that they want to produce. And then we actually give grants to our students to produce the shows themselves with some faculty school oversight, of course, and, and uh, mentoring. But these are shows that the students have chosen, and the students are directing, choreographing, producing largely themselves. So this year, uh, our big musical is Cabaret. One of our plays is Dog Sees God. We've also got a big dance uh, production called Femme Fatale. Actually, I think it changed its name to Les Femmes. But that's sort of like a burlesque show. We've got Elephant's Graveyard, which is a more period piece. Um, we are also doing a workshop of a brand new musical, which I'm, I don't know if I should actually say the title because <laughs> I don't know if I have permission to. But it, it's, a, it's a musical that's going to be produced in LA next year, but the writers have given us permission to workshop it here in our school. So we're doing mm -hmm. kind of an in-house stage reading of a, an actual brand new piece. Great. So, there's stuff happening all along, um, and a lot, and I would say 90% of it is student-driven and student-created. Um, tell us, 
it sounds like it's a lot of new works and things because you're talking about contemporary musical theater. Are the students going to get an opportunity as well to do some of the shows that they they know and 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 the classics, so to speak? Absolutely, yeah. You know, like like I said, uh, our our definition of contemporary is the the industry as it is today, and the industry as it is today includes older works, like you know, breathing life into old older works, revisiting. Um, familiar material. So, you know, our musical is Cabaret. That's a, a, a one that I'm sure most people will be familiar with. Um, but we also have had people uh, write brand new musicals. Like they, they, they wrote and produced it themselves. So, you know, uh, it was born here. And in our coursework, we do make a point to cover um, the full gamut of musical theater history. So we go all the mm -hmm. way back to early musical theater, kind of coming right out of um, operetta and and uh, vaudeville, and then we go through the golden age, and and we go through like up through hair, you know, kind of that turn into more what we call contemporary musical theater. So we do cover all of that material, as well as trying to to bring in as much of the current writing and, and composing that is happening today. Yeah. And then on the film side of things, um, students are regularly participating in, um, are, are there film production, um, like benchmarks or things that they have, that they do throughout their four years there where they're going to be in a film this year or, um, how does that work where they get the experience in front of the camera? Yeah, so we have some on-camera classes, some camera techniques classes. There's there's uh, one or perhaps two. I'd have to look again because uh, the program just changed. But there's at least one required camera class, and then there are others that the students can take as electives if they wish to go further. Mm -hmm. And in terms of actual projects, there's a lot uh, because we have a film department. There's a lot of student films. Uh, that get produced throughout the year because it's required as, as part of their program and of course they cast from within and we are very uh, cross-departmental interdisciplinary here we try to encourage that kind of cross-breeding of, of art forms so our musical theater majors will be starring in you know a, a sophomore thesis film or, or something of that sort and as also part of our season of shows we have uh, senior films that are being produced. We have um, short films that are being produced, and that uses mostly students from our own school. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of opportunities. We've even got a, we've even got a sitcom being produced this year, which I, I'm eager to see. Oh, I don't know much about it. I just know it's a, a an original sitcom. So. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Um, so Hushin College, uh, there's three camp. There, there's a few campuses of Hushin. Is there three? I, I think. Well, it's it's growing because they're they're changing the names of other campuses because there was also Daymar, right? We were part of that that kind of group, uh, but right now I think there's three. Okay. And, and I, yeah, I'm not sure about the contents of the other two campuses. So they are. Um Hushin College, just so everyone sort of understands, they're a, a, a career college, like. Um, yes. Um, where it's a for-profit company that is offering um, more specialized education like for you're going to mostly study the performing arts so in doing that and part of that curriculum are there any gen ed requirements whatsoever um, as part of it or is it pretty conservatory focused you know it it's it's kind of both i mean yes we have gen eds uh and there we've kind of worked them into the program such they're, that they're spread out throughout the four years, although you can uh, uh, move them around um, to a certain degree if, if you prefer. And, you know, we've got anthropology, we've got psychology, physics, statistics, uh, American cinema, kind of like your standard slate of gen eds. The great thing, though, is uh, the chair of our gen ed department is very in tune with the the kind of the community and culture and uh, uh, drives of our artists and our student body and has worked closely with our gen ed teachers and curriculum designers to create courses that feel very integrated into the major. Not it's, it's not just this completely disconnected side piece. So even as you are in uh, you know, our sustainability class, for example, you're thinking about sustainability 
on a film set or on a film production, right? Or sustainability mm -hmm. of a theatrical production. So, mm -hmm. so there's all there's always tie-ins into the industry and into the art. Yeah, so it's 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 uh, highly integrated. And are those gen eds required courses or are they electives? Like, what is how many maths is someone going to take? How many sciences <laughs> is it? Is it set up like that? They they are required, and we have a, like a pre fee menu of gen eds. I think there's ten, and uh, like I said, they're they're spread out throughout the four years. So sometimes you take two, sometimes you take yeah. one, yeah. Okay. And you you can also outsource them. You could you could get them transferred in from another college. I feel like I need to take a step back and clarify something. I started to ask about the different uh, the campuses, but the this specific degree is only offered at the LA campus. Correct. Okay, just making sure I put that out there because I didn't want to confuse anybody with my question because I got sidetracked. Um, <laughs> so uh, are there opportunities to um, uh, cross-train and, and maybe minor in something outside of the musical theater and uh, film track? Absolutely. Yeah, this is actually one of the, the big projects we've been working on over the past few years with our program updates is trying to reduce the number of required courses and increase the number of elective spaces that you have in your schedule. It largely shows up in the junior and senior years, right? We try to get, you know, get your required courses in there in the freshman, sophomore year, get those fundamental skills out. And then you start to uh, clear up some space and you can kind of unofficially minor in other topics. So we've got some people who get really into uh, dance, right? And they start filling up with some of some extracurricular, not extracurricular, um, uh, elective dance classes. Or if you get really into filmmaking, right? So you could take uh, more editing classes or you know film history classes. So there, there's definitely an opportunity for that. You will get a taste of all of it. Like you will find yourself as a, a as a major or any major, you will find yourself in all of the departments, but you can then customize that with your electives. Beautiful. Um, talk to us about the other faculty members that students will be uh, interacting with while they're there. Yeah, we have a pretty awesome adjunct faculty for sure uh, and, and full-time faculty. Uh, right now, I, I guess I can name names, right? <laughs> you know, name um, the names. <laughs> name the names. You know, the 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 gentleman teaching our new musical theater and cabaret course is uh, David Burnham. He was uh, in. He I think he replaced Donny Osmond and Joseph in the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat. He was on Broadway as Fiero in Wicked. We've also got uh, Desmond Newson, who just finished, is about to finish a run of Carmen Jones. And he was also in, in the tour of Hamilton and in, on Broadway in Motown. Uh, Laura Parker is one of our voice faculty. She's worked with the LA Opera. Uh, Leslie Stevens is on our dance faculty and she's been uh, in La Cage à Faux on Broadway and uh, something else. I can't remember what else it was. I'm blanking right now. Um, Joe and Christine Abraham are a couple others. Joe was in Hairspray and also in the movie uh, Jersey Boys. So, you know, a pretty, a pretty rich and lively faculty. Uh, sure. And it's, it's always updating, you know, because we get, we work with people who are still working, you know, who are still mm -hmm. in the industry. And what about some uh, student success stories that you have? Yeah, you know, it's uh, we've we've definitely got a few. We are still a young college. I, I, I want to remind people. So, you know, we we've got our graduates who are just now entering the field and starting to work. Um, but even now, you know, like one of our seniors, our current musical theater seniors, just finished the tour of the prom. Uh, which was pretty awesome. Uh, we've got another uh, a graduate, uh, Daisy, who was in La Mirada's production of um, In the Heights. Um, uh, Kelsey, another graduate, she's, she's currently doing a production of The Wild Party. Uh, Anthony, uh, he has done a couple of Lifetime movies now. So, and Johnny, Johnny Cassidy is one of our graduates who 
wrote and produced an original musical while he was here, and and, and that was in a, the LA Fringe Festival as well. So they're starting to get out there. I think you know, give us a couple more years, and <laughs> we'll have a couple of household names. Uh, sounds like it. Um, so now I normally tell you or, or ask my, my guests to tell us a little bit about the campus and what there is to do in the area. But you guys are mm-hmm. popped down right in the middle of Los Angeles. So this could be a very long answer, but I'm going to let you take a crack at it. <laughs> what is student life like? Like we can also it, I'd actually be interested to know a little bit about um, like student housing and things like that, because you are a, an urban campus on a film lot. So mm-hmm. what is what is student life? Yeah, you know, we uh, well, student housing, we uh, have a partnership with uh, a place called the Lorenzo, which is where most of our students live, and that's also where a lot of USC students are. It's, it's kind of nearby, and there's a shuttle that, that uh, transports students back and forth. Um, but not all of our students live there. Some find housing elsewhere in LA. I mean, it's a big city, so you have a lot of options. Uh, and then some of the, we do have some local students who still, you know, live at home or, um, uh, you know, have, have a place of their own nearby. Um, student life, you know, it, like said, we are in the middle of downtown Los Angeles. It's a, it's a pretty vibrant city and, uh, you know, LA is, is, has got a lot to offer. Uh, I, I mean, gosh, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin, but, you know, we've got Hollywood, we've got uh, the Valley, we've got downtown, we've got the beach cities. Um, and our students are definitely uh, sightseeing and, and uh, exploring all of those places. Um, downtown is pretty great because over the past 10 years, you know, LA has really invested a lot in downtown. So there's a lot of great stuff down here of businesses, uh, restaurants, shops, um, entertainment, um, you know. And uh, like I said, we, we are inside a film lot. So the the day to day is kind of unique because you're mm-hmm. you're walking through sets <laughs> and and through live productions. Um, yeah, that's kind of the 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 experience. Sounds like an exciting experience. Um, yeah. Let's transition now and start talking about the application and audition process. Um, So I will, because this is not a cookie cutter university program, um, I'm not going to ask you any outlining questions about the application and audition process. I'm just going to sort of let you dive in and and tell us what that process looks like. Sure. Yeah. Well, I do know that we get, well, I mean, things got a little... um, uh, turned upside down when COVID hit, right? So th- that that was not a representative year. But normally we would get upwards of a thousand applications overall. And I do know that we aim to keep our school relatively small. We like you know small focused classrooms. We're not aiming for just uh, expanding indefinitely. We like we like it to be kind of a, um, a focused community. So maybe around 400 students is, is the ideal size. Our application is, pr- I, I would imagine, is pretty standard. So we want to see you sing. We want to see you act. We want to see you dance. And we're also looking for some writing samples and to, and to get to know you as a person and what your, what your perspective is on life and what your vision is for your art. So we are looking for, you know, perhaps it's easy to say kind of a, 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 the non-traditional student, right? Like I said, we're not a pipeline to Broadway. We're looking for people who want to be creatives, who want to be, um, uh, have that entrepreneurial spirit, spirit who want to, (laughs) there's a term that one are dance chair has coined here um, to be a slash, right? So you're like, you're this, slash this, slash this, slash that, right? So she calls them slashes. So we're looking for slashes. It's (laughs) it's really, really the the core of it. (laughs) Others would say multi-hyphenate. Uh, multi slash. Yes. <laughs> That's the first I've heard of slash. Um, yeah, kind of you, w- what do you mean when you say um, that you uh, want to get a writing sample? You mean essays, like it's part of the written application? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, there's a there's a personal essay, and and there's also um, uh, what what is the I can't remember the exact 
the exact prompt, but it's it's sort of like kind of a um, a moment that was kind of transformative or formative in your life, right? Specifically, I mean, I actually don't think it's it's specific to art. I think it's a little bit more open. I'd have to go look and see what the language is, but yeah, yeah, it's it's we want to see what how you view the world and how you view your future as. Um, as a musical theater performer. And uh, do you have to pre-screen or anything before you set up that live audition? I don't, oh, uh, so live auditions, we, we do everything virtually, yeah. Um, we do live events. I know we have recruiters that travel around the country and, and pre-screen, it's not, it's not an official pre-screen as far as I understand it, but um, do engage with students, uh, prospective college students and applicants. But I think the entire application process is all online. Now students do often come to campus to do a tour, to visit, to audit a class, and so you can definitely do that and meet the instructors, meet the team, um, and, but that's not required. You know, like you don't have to do that. So there's there's uh, several applicants that we have accepted, and you know we didn't officially meet them until orientation. So you um, you mean like I think you do? I, I think I saw you at SCTC uh, a couple years ago. Like you do events like that mm -hmm, around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, and I know that they've been uh, ramping up our marketing and admissions uh, team and recruiting team. So there's probably going to be a lot of new stuff happening this year that even I don't know about yet. Great. So uh, we usually wrap up our our podcast with a question for our guests. Um, and that is, what is something that you're looking forward to uh, at your program this semester? What is something I'm looking forward to? Um, well, gosh. You know, what I always look forward to is just student growth and kind of student uh, epiphanies, if you will, when things kind of unlock for students. Uh, because I think that is the ultimate confirmation that what we're doing here is, is working and that um, it's valuable for our students. So, and it, and it inevitably does happen. So it's, it's <laughs> you know, I, it, I, I just, that's always the thrill, is seeing the students succeed, seeing the students um, confident and accomplished, you know, mm -hmm. whether it be on their final performance or in the festival production or even on just one assignment but seeing them kind of overcome that challenge and become that much better an artist and that much closer to their dreams is, I mean, that's what makes it all worth it. So <laughs> that to me is what I look forward to, but that's kind of an ongoing thing, you know, not any one particular thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's why all of us are in this industry. Um, for just, for sure. yeah. So Chris, uh, tell us if uh, students or parents want to get to know anything else or, or ask more questions about Hushin College, what's the best way to get in touch? Well, you can always email me if, uh, directly if you want to. I, I am christopher.bratton at hushincollege.edu. Uh, our website is la.hushincollege.edu, or you can just search Hushin College in studio is the LA campus. So those would be the best ways. Great. Well, Chris, it was so great to get to learn a little bit more about your college, including how to pronounce the name that I've pronounced incorrectly <laughs> now for a very long time. Uh, but thanks so much for sharing that with us today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you around here again real soon. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. For more information on the exciting training, workshops, and resources we have to offer at The College Audition, please visit us online at www.thecollegeaudition.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube.